Welcome to our quick introduction to the classic 1948 movie, Key Largo. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as we explore this timeless film filled with funny, shocking, and sad moments. Keep your eyes peeled because we've got some interesting facts coming up. Directed by John Huston, the movie follows the story of Frank McCloud, a war veteran played by Humphrey Bogart, who finds himself caught up in a tense standoff at a hotel run by the widow of a war buddy. With a hurricane brewing outside, tensions rise as he confronts a gangster named Johnny Rocco, played by Edward G. Robinson. As you watch, ask yourself, is there a particular scene or moment in the movie that has stayed with you? Maybe it's the intense confrontations between Frank and Rocco or the atmospheric setting of the stormy Florida Keys. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits about Key Largo and remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more classic film content. Happy watching! In 1948, the movie Key Largo made a big impression on popular culture. People loved it for its exciting story, interesting characters, and great acting. It was especially praised for its tense atmosphere and deep ideas. One big reason the movie was so good was its amazing cast. Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Buckhall, and Edward G. Robinson did a fantastic job, making their characters really memorable. Key Largo didn't just stay on the screen. It inspired other versions in different forms of entertainment. People loved it so much that they made posters, toys, and other things for fans. Also, the movie's themes about doing the right thing and staying strong really connected with people. That's why it's still talked about today and considered a classic. In short, Key Largo made a big impact because of its great story, talented actors, and timeless messages. It's still remembered and loved by many. Key Largo is a 1948 movie directed by John Huston. In one scene, Claire Trevor, who plays a character described as a sad, resigned, and slightly unkempt woman, asked Huston for insight into her role. He explained her character as a drunken dame with a loud voice, big elbows, and excessive politeness. Edward G. Robinson, playing Johnny Rocco, expresses frustration about being labeled an undesirable despite living in the USA for over 30 years. Robinson himself faced scrutiny from the Committee on Un-American Activities due to alleged ties to communist fronts. He testified as a friendly witness, but was still gray listed in the 1950s. Interestingly, Robinson owned a copy of Leon Trotsky's autobiography, My Life, signed by Trotsky himself. Additionally, Claire Trevor's character sings Moanin' Low Without Accompaniment, a song made famous in the early 1930s by Libby Homan. Key Largo, a movie from 1948, got a lot of attention because of its great story, which got John Huston and Richard Brooks nominated for a Writers Guild Award for Best Written American Drama. The cast was amazing, with stars like Humphrey Bogart, Lionel Barrymore, and Claire Trevor, who all won Academy Awards. Lauren Buckhall and Thomas Gomez, who were also nominated for Oscars, were in the movie too. This was Buckhall's first time getting nominated for an Oscar. After being involved with the film, Harry Lewis and his wife Marilyn started the Hamburger Hamlet restaurants, which became really popular. The mix of talent and business smarts behind the scenes made Key Largo even more special. In both Key Largo and To Have and Have Not, the same boat appears, recognizable by the matching numbers on its bow. Joe Flaherty drew inspiration from Lionel Barrymore's attire in the film for his character Guy Caballero on FCTV. However, Caballero, unlike James Temple, uses a wheelchair not out of necessity, but as a sign of respect. The scene where Claire Trevor sings Moanin' Low was inspired by a real-life incident during World War II. Humphrey Bogart's wife at the time, Mayo Methot, insisted on singing despite being visibly intoxicated, resulting in a memorable embarrassment. Key Largo aired as a radio adaptation in 1949 with Edward G. Robinson reprising his role. In the film, Monty Blue portrayed Sheriff Ben Wade, while Jay Silverheels played Tom Osceola, an uncredited role. Silverheels later gained fame as Tonto in The Lone Ranger. Blue and Silverheels reunited on the show, with Blue appearing as a sheriff or an Indian chief five times between 1949 and 1953. Additionally, Blue appeared in six films with Lauren Buckhall, including Key Largo. Edward G. Robinson and Claire Trevor played a couple going through tough times and two weeks in another town alongside Kirk Douglas. 
John Houston, while looking around in the Florida Keys, found out from a hotel owner that digging three feet down would reach the ocean. The pretty scenery of the Florida Keys was perfect for the movie's intense drama and the strong chemistry between Robinson and Trevor. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Buckhall, famous actors, appeared together for the last time in this emotional movie. Their strong connection made the story even more touching. Unfortunately, Bogart passed away suddenly, ending their plans for future projects and leaving a gap in the film world. Even though they had hoped to work together again, Bogart's death had a big impact on the industry. The movie they never got to make became a sad reminder of what could have been. Still, Two Weeks in Another Town shows how talented these actors were and how they made magic on screen. In the film, there's a mix of suspense and emotion as the characters deal with their own struggles against the backdrop of the Florida Keys. The beautiful scenery and the great acting, especially from Robinson and Trevor, make Two Weeks in Another Town a movie worth watching. As the story unfolds, the characters face their own challenges, creating a picture of human experience against the backdrop of the Florida Keys. The movie captures relationships, regret, and redemption, making it a timeless piece of cinema that people still enjoy today. In short, Two Weeks in Another Town shows the talent of the people involved and leaves a lasting impression in the film world. It's a special movie that people love. Key Largo, a movie made in 1948, was based on Maxwell Anderson's Broadway play. It starred Paul Mooney as the main character, who was a pessimistic ex-soldier from the Spanish Civil War. But in the movie, they changed his background to being a veteran of World War II. The story also touched on the hopeful time during Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency and how that hope faded because of organized crime. During the 2000 presidential election, a line from the movie became famous. It was about manipulating votes in Florida, which reminded people of the real-life vote recount. In the movie, the main character talks about fighting in Italy during World War II, where Nora's husband died. Interestingly, the director of the movie, John Huston, had actually been in that battle and made a documentary about it while he was in the army. Key Largo is still an important movie because of its story, its relevance to society, and its memorable lines. It started as a play, talked about important issues, and had quotes that people remember. In Key Largo, James Temple recounts the devastating 1935 hurricane that hit Maticum Key among the worst in U.S. history. It affected World War I veterans constructing the Florida Keys part of U.S. Highway 1. The film's start shows a section of this highway. This storm also caused the lowest ever recorded barometric pressure over land in North America. Produced in 1948, the film coincided with two major hurricanes that hit the Florida Keys in the same year, just weeks apart. Johnny Rocco's character draws inspiration from Al Capone, who retired to Florida and died there a year before the film's release due to complications from advanced syphilis. Screenwriter Richard Brooks also integrated elements from Lucky Luciano's life into Rocco's character.